Hello everyone, in this video I will be going over the basics of file recovery. So file recovery usually occurs in three main types. There is file system recovery such as when you format incorrectly or completely format a drive and you need the data back. There's physical recovery where the drive becomes too slow to access or you can't access certain folders or there's failing sectors. And then there's also dead drives. I will not be going over this type since this requires physical repair and I will be going over software that you can use to recover. So in this video I'll be using DMDE, it's a free software that runs on Windows that can help you recover your drive from the first two types of failing drives. So as you can see it's also cross platform on Linux and Mac OS so you can follow along on those uh, OS's as well. For this first demo, I'll be using a failing hard drive that falls in the second category and I'll be using DMDE to recover files from it. There's also a paid version of the software that allows you to recover the entire drive at once, but the free version will allow you to recover individual files at an unlimited number of times. So go ahead and download it from the website and extract it, and then it's a portable installation so it'll just run from the folder that you extracted it to. When you open it for the first time, it'll ask for the language and the license agreement. So here you'll be prompted to select the disk that you're trying to recover from. So go ahead and plug in your disk, or if it's already a hard drive that's plugged into your system, go ahead and select that one. Now you might see some notifications on the bottom right corner saying that the drive has been connected. And if you get an error that says that there's a problem with this drive, do not click that. That will scan the drive and Windows will try to automatically fix it, but usually it makes it harder for our software, DMDE, to recover files from it. So right now, as you can see, you can see the entire uh, folder structure on the drive, but if you have a bad formatting, you will have to click the full volume scan at the bottom. I'll show that on the next demo with the USB drive. But here you can go ahead and go through all the folders in the drive. With the free version, you can't select an entire folder and recover it. You will have to select individual files before doing so. And uh, if you see some folders that are empty or inaccessible, you might have to scan it before you can open it, such as that. You saw the loading bar there. That means that DMDE was scanning the drive before it could open it. So here I'm going to go ahead and just select a couple files and copy it over. So once you select them at the bottom, you can click recover and then um, you'll be prompted to uh, store it to a directory. So instead of clicking there, you can also just click recover and then do it in File Explorer. Make sure you save it to your local drive or a drive that you know is uh, not failing so that you can recover it later. As you can see, you might get some errors if it's a failing drive. So this file is stored on a bad sector. So sometimes you will have to skip the file to recover it. You could try to retry sometimes and you might be successful, but if, you, if it keeps failing, you will have to click ignore and skip the file. So as you can see, I was only able to recover two of the files from here. In comparison, if I go to the Windows Explorer and try to recover the same file, it would likely freeze and not recover even those two files. So if I go here to that same folder, it will say that the folder is actually inaccessible. It says unavailable, this location on this PC. So that folder is corrupt in the Windows Explorer and you're unable to access it, but in DMDE you can access the same folder. Now moving on, I'm going to go ahead and show the USB recovery part. You can also run this on hard drives, USBs, CDs, DVDs, and a variety of different data mediums. Once you have your USB drive plugged in, you can go ahead and select the drive the same way I selected the hard drive in the previous section. Once you click open, you'll be presented with the same UI and the USB. So currently I was using this to install uh, uh, Windows so you can see the EFI folder and a couple other things, but I accidentally formatted it when I had some photos on it beforehand. So what I'd like to do is uh, recover it from the format. So to do that, you will first need to do a full volume scan to discover the uh, lost files and the files that were on the drive before the format. And once the scan is done, and this will depend on the speed of the drive. So if it's an SSD versus a hard drive or a USB drive, an SSD will be much faster. So go ahead and save the log file after it's done scanning so that you don't have to rescan every single time. Now you can see the rediscovered folders. 
So this was a previous um, installation when I had a Windows EFI folder. These are not important, but if you have folders like this, it'll show it by folder. And you can also go to different file types as well. At the top, if you click raw file types by signature, you can find graphics, media, text, documents, and other. So what I'd like to do is recover these files. So you can select them individually and then by the same process before, you can just click the recover button at the bottom. And then once again, make sure you recover to your C drive or a drive that you know is working. And this again will depend on the speed of the USB drive or depending on if there are good sectors on the drive. As you can see, the files have successfully transferred and they are accessible. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and if you have any more questions about this software, leave them in the comments down below.